Hi, and welcome to the Build Your Own Business website tutorials. My name is Rick Anderson, and I'll be your instructor in this tutorial. My goal is to show how you, with basic word processing and desktop publishing skills, can develop, manage, and maintain your own business web presence. Someone on Biznick recently asked an interesting question that I thought would make a great tutorial. How can you create an events listing that only displays future events using Thesis 1.6? So here's the problem. First, this needs to work automatically. After you list an event, everything else should happen for you without your intervention. Second, the event listing should be a post. No additional database entries or data handling should be involved. Third, there should be a top-level page that displays excerpts of all of the future events. Fourth, the future events should be listed chronologically, rather than how blogs generally list posts. Fifth, when you click on an excerpt, you are brought to the full listing event. And finally, it needs to work without hacking the thesis core files. Everything has to happen in the custom files section. Okay, so here's the solution. First, we'll use the publish in the future function of posts. Secondly, we'll create a page using a thesis custom page template. Third, we'll put that page in the navigation bar. And finally, we'll write a custom page template that displays future events chronologically. So let's go ahead and get started. In the first part of this tutorial, we'll create some posts. So first, here we are over at the website that I've created for the purpose of doing this tutorial called the Build Your Own Business Website Tutorial Testing Platform. And you can see I've already created one event post that happened in the past. That is, it happened early this morning on January 5th. And that's all we have on this website. Now, that's all that's displayed on the website. Otherwise, it's a, it's a, um, a standard installation of Thesis 1.6. I've also already logged into my dashboard on this. And if we go over and take a look at posts, you can see that here's that past event I created. I've also created a couple of future events already in order for me to test how this thing worked out. So first we're going to go over here to categories because the very first thing you have to do is create a category that you want these things to fall, these future events to fall into. Now I've created a category called upcoming events select edit here you can see what it looks like upcoming events created the category slug upcoming dash events it doesn't have a category parent it doesn't have a description it's very simple I'll bit the category and there it is that's the only category I have besides uncategorized okay so now let's go go ahead and add another post so we'll say add new and this will be called uh, future event 3 and we'll put it March 1st 2010 so I have a little bit of lorem ipsum text in a notepad here so I'm just going to go ahead and copy that and place that text there in the notepad then we're going to come over here and this is the area where we take advantage of the publish in the future Ordinarily, if you push publish, it publishes immediately. But what we'll do is we'll select edit, and we will pick the date and time that the event happens. This day is it's March 1st, 2010, and we'll say it happens at noon on that day. You can say OK to that, and select schedule. Now what's going to happen is, is that on March 1st of 2010 at 12 o'clock noon, it will actually post this post. Unfortunately, we forgot to categorize it properly though, so let's unselect uncategorize and select upcoming events and go ahead and select update. Okay, so now we have this future event that is categorized as an upcoming event and it's going to be published on this date. So if we go back over and take a look at our home page here, you can see that that doesn't actually show up, right? Still the original Hello World showed up when we created the website. And then this past event that I entered earlier shows up. But these other events, 
that are scheduled to be published, those don't show up in our blog because obviously they aren't published yet. 